In the darkness we were waiting without hope, without light. Till from heaven you came running, there was mercy in your eyes. To fulfill the law and prophets, to a virgin came the word. From a throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dark.
to hear you say that I'm your friend. Oh, you are my desire. No one else will do. Cause nothing else could take your place To feel the warmth of your embrace Oh God, help me find the way Bring me back to you Hello KBC family and friends, welcome to our online service. If you are joining us for the very first time, connect with us by filling out the digital connect card found on our website. We would love to hear from you. Join us this coming Sunday, January 2nd at West Nairobi School from 10 a.m. for our New Year service. Kids and Youth Church are on break and will resume on January 9th. You can find out more about KVC online. Check out our website, karenvinyard.org, as well as the many social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow us on these platforms and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and our podcast to get the latest teachings. The church office is closed and will reopen on January 3rd. 
For any emergencies, email the church office or call us on 0743 We have intercessors and the pastoral care team available to pray for you and with you. Email us your prayer needs to pray247kvc at gmail.com or call us on our office line 0743 We now invite you to worship with your giving no matter how small or big your gift is. It is an equal sacrifice and an act of worship. There are many ways to give, all of which are listed on the screen and online. Thank you for giving back to the Lord and His work at KVC. Pastor Craig and Pam will now bring a brief message. God bless you and have a great Sunday. Good morning, KVC. Welcome to our online gathering on December 26. Um, Pam and I hope you had a very, very Merry Christmas and that it has been just a great time for family and friends and much food and fellowship. Uh, but we wanted to come to you today uh, in this service just to share our hearts with you. And as we wrap up this year and enter into 2022, believing that better things are ahead for each and every one of us, knowing that God has not left us or forsaken us and that he is always with us, we look forward to another year to serve him. And Craig and I have the very high and very sacred privilege of serving here at KBC. We're serving the Lord alongside you, and we're so grateful for the opportunity to do that. This year has been a very difficult year for many of us, and only our Father God knows just how difficult it's been because it's Him who has carried us through. It's not any person or anything that's carried us through, it's only our Father God. And so standing here at the end of 2021, we look back and we realize that we have so much to be thankful for. Not the least of these is the opportunity to serve alongside you at KVC. And so we want to just leave you with a couple of thoughts this morning. Number one, make Jesus the center of this season. You know, it can get mm -hmm. so commercialized, it can get so busy, can be just uh, here and there that we miss the opportunity to hear what Jesus is saying to us and to see what he's doing, even within our own family. So put Jesus at the center. Secondly, make family a priority. Mm -hmm. I know there's business, I know there's transactions, there's meetings, all those things. But during this holiday season, this is kind of a time for us to pause. Even here in Kenya, where everything shuts down for the last two weeks, and it gives us an opportunity to be with family, to cherish those moments together also friends that, that we have, and just to be able to be together. The third thing is I would encourage you as families to begin to think about what is God saying to your family in 2022? What has God been showing you this last year, but also what is he saying for this coming year? What is he saying for you as husbands and wives? What's he saying about your children? What's he saying about your employment and where you're at? You know, the God, God says that he will never leave us nor forsake us and that his purposes prevail. But sometimes we can thwart those purposes by just doing our own thing and not stopping and asking him. So I wanna encourage you as families to begin to pray into 2022. What is God saying for you? We look forward to what 2022 has mm -hmm. for us. We know this, that the kingdom of God advances forcefully. We know this, that the word of God, when it goes out, it does not return back void, but accomplishes all its purposes. We know the Holy Spirit is working in the hearts 
of those that don't know Jesus to convict of sin, righteousness, and judgment. We know that the church is the manifest presence of Jesus in this earth, in Nairobi. So we want to be that light in dark places. We want to be those hands. We want to be that voice. We want to be the feet of Jesus wherever we're going in 2022. So as your pastor, I'm excited about 2022. To be honest with you, Pam and I are excited that 2021 is is mm -hmm. heading out the door. And I'm sure many of you are too, because we've experienced, as Pam said, many hardships and many difficult things. But it's in those, those trials, it's in the suffering that we grow and our hope grows. And as Roman says, hope does not disappoint us. So I want to just encourage you uh, to believe the best that God has for you. Not hype, not some way to just motivate you, but through God's word, what he says to us as believers, that we are complete in him, mm -hmm. that he's given us everything we need for life and godliness, mm -hmm. and that we're not just paupers in this world, but we're a royal priesthood, a chosen nation, a peculiar people, called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Mm -hmm. That's who we are. So KVC, we pray the rest of your holiday will be awesome. We pray that uh, God's presence will just fill your houses, your cars, wherever you're meeting with family and friends. We pray that God will speak to your hearts this year. From Pam and I, we just want to say we love you. And as Pam said, I am in total agreement. It is our incredible privilege to serve alongside you. KVC, greater days are ahead for us. We just need to believe, step out in faith, and trust him. God bless you. Have a great, great Boxing Day. <laughs>